In the last part of our investigation in the murder mystery machine, case 7, the hammer and the chain, we found out about some shady dealings at the local investment bank. What we're going to go after, who we're going to go after next, is a person at the sports bar again. The cleaner called Hank in scene 7.2. Guy's sports bar, Guy's sports bar. We've been here before. All right, there's an ex-con. All right, see what we've got. Let's talk to Guy. Let's talk to Guy. What about Hank Miller? We've known each other, okay, even before he was inside. Any change, making good use of a second chance. Shouldn't have been locked up. Okay. Possession of a weapon. Hmm. Oh well. He knew how to read people. Quick with his hands, quick with his mouth. A con artist. Hmm. Interesting. Him and his brother. He only the gun for show. Captain Merrick. All right. Clean up the streets, Captain Merrick. Great changes. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hank was a con artist. Two tough guys were looking for Hank. All right. What else can we find in here? Let's see, anything clickable as a customer? Oh, it is Hank Miller. It's not a customer, it's Hank Miller. All right. Michael too. What do you know about Michael? Good guy, gave him time of day in that world. The almighty world of banking, an ex con I know what they think of me, egotistical bankers, only out for their own gain. Hmm. Carl Ogwin has a problem. Okay. He's the cleaner. Always Friday, 6 p.m. Finish about 8, 9. Last night, 9 p.m. Extra and immense. But he left at 8.45. He clocked out at 8.45. That's what we saw. Any other clues here at the bar? Anything clickable? Doesn't seem like it. No. Let's use the clues. Let's use the clues. He works from 6 to 9, but he swipes out at 9.45. Left work at 9. Swiped out at 9.45. New dialogue, exactly. Doesn't add up. That doesn't add up. Let's ask him about it. Someone found my key card. I lost it. Hmm. Good excuse. He went for drinks with Carl, but he lost his key card. Not connected. But Carl looked down on Hank. Why would they go out for drinks? Good question. Hmm. Trying to butter me up. For what? Rummaging Michael's drawer to be honored in much. It's being overly nice. Hmm, the bird in the hand. We've been there before. Last week, I've got to turn down free beer. All right. Where's that for the beer? Okay. Carl was acting suspiciously. Showed a less ruthless side. Talked about his father a lot. Hmm. Michael got on well with Hank.
But something said about recent tensions with Michael. What about that? Falling out. We we'll call it that. A misunderstanding, of course. Of course, lost some money. Michael gave me some tips on an investment. We're all good. Hmm. You win some, you lose some. Fair enough. You win some, you lose some. Gave Hank a bad investment tip. Okay, but he had gambling problems. Does that go together? No. No. Two tough guys looking for Hank. What do you know about that? Maybe gambling problems? We're looking for your money. Gee, what can you tell us about that? Loan sharks. Serious money. Figured what happened. Took them outside. It was all sorted. He paid them. Hmm. So Hank did have money. Hank came into some money. But what about the bad investment tip then? Hmm. He owed money to the loan sharks. They were looking for him. Okay. Owned, he owed loan sharks money because of his gambling problems. That makes sense. Nothing happens. Hank was a con artist. No. Why did he lose his key card? Carl took Hank out for drinks. Carl was acting suspiciously. Why would he then take him out for drinks? Doesn't make any sense. Talked about father, a less ruthless side. Hank came into some money. How? No, not from Carl. Not from Carl. Because of the gambling? No. No. Loan sharks. Recent tensions? Loan sharks? No. Gambling problems? No. You, you would think so. Maybe the loan sharks came because of the bad investment tip. Let's have a look. People like that after you, they won't be back. What about the problems? It was meant to help me pay off some money. Didn't work out and find another way. He knew your situation, knew you could afford to lose. He betrayed your trust. Did he apologize? Hmm. Interesting. Hank lost everything, but he came into some money. How? 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 He lost Hank everything. So that would mean that Hank is very, has a reason, betrayal, to kill Michael. He betrayed his trust. Everything lost. So Hank could have a reason, betrayal, to go after Michael. Let's put it in, see what happens. There we go. Here we go. Hank has a reason to go after Michael because Michael lost Hank everything he had, all his money. But yet he did have money to pay off the loan sharks. Very suspicious. Let's go back to 
the HQ. See if we've learned everything over there. Your murder weapon. Hmm. Out of the country and business. Obviously. What else was on Michael's computer? Hmm. All right. That concludes part two of this investigation into the hammer and the chain. Um, and that also concludes this video. Again, I'd like if you, I would like you to, I would like you to make proper sentences. I would like to ask you if um, you would like this video, if it was helpful to you at all or informative. And I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your day.